Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Delta Airlines orders Bombardier C-Series airliners. TechNam enhances their P-2010 airplane. The U.S. skydive team for canopy piloting competition is chosen. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom, and this is Airborne Unlimited on Aero TV. The Bombardier C-Series aircraft program received a major boost when Delta Airlines executed a firm agreement for the purchase of 75 CS-100 aircraft with an option for an additional 50 CS-100s. Delta may elect to convert a number of these aircraft into CS-300s at a later date. Based on the list price of the CS-100 aircraft, the firm order is valued at approximately $5.6 billion. Ed Bastian, Delta's incoming chief executive, said, As we reshape our fleet for the future, the innovative onboard experience of the C-Series is a perfect complement for the top-notch service provided every day by Delta people. These new aircraft are a solid investment, allowing us to take advantage of superior operating economics, network flexibility, and the best-in-class fuel performance. With this order, the largest in Bombardier commercial aircraft history, Delta becomes the C-Series aircraft's largest customer. Deliveries are scheduled to commence in spring 2018. Even though TechNam's P-2010 four-place aircraft only recently received its EASA and FAA-type certification, TechNam has now received approval for Level 1 major changes that will enhance the aircraft. The revision validates the use of the GFC-700 autopilot fully integrated with the G-100 glass flight deck. The GFC-700 is an AHARS-based automatic flight control system that provides flight director, autopilot, and automatic and manual electric trim capabilities. The validation allows the use of the Garmin G500 suite as an alternative to Garmin G1000. This configuration also includes an engine indicating system based on the EDM930. Primary ComNav is the GTN650 touchscreen navigator, while the secondary ComNav source is provided by Garmin GNC255. A GTX33 remote mode S transponder is controlled via GTN650. Another major revision to the type certificate is the approval to use MoGas in place of 100 octane low lead AVGAS. Technam says they are the first general aviation manufacturer capable of obtaining approval for the use of automotive fuel for the IO360 Lycoming engine. After the break, we'll bring you news in the sport of skydiving. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Here's an update about some news from the world of skydiving. The U.S. Parachute Association named its 2016 U.S. Canopy piloting team following the United States Parachute Association's National Championships of Canopy Piloting held last month at Skydive City, Zephyr Hills in Florida. In canopy piloting, often called swooping, skydivers fly their high-performance parachutes through narrow slalom-like courses for hundreds of yards across the ground and over water at speeds approaching 90 miles per hour. The championships drew 55 competitors and included speed, distance, and accuracy events. The U.S. Parachute Team will compete at the 2016 World Championships this August in Farmham, Canada. 
In other skydiving news, an international team of 72 skydivers claimed a new world record for largest upright formation last month at Skydive Arizona and Eloy. The group surpassed a previous world record of 52 skydivers set in November 2014. For the record, the skydivers simultaneously exited four aircraft at 18,000 feet to link up in a predetermined formation while flying in an upright or sit-fly position. This record is pending recognition from the Federación Aeronautica Internacional. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off and left. In this video, we watch as Captain Sully Sullenberger, the famous airline pilot who successfully landed a crippled airliner in the Hudson River, takes a flight with the Navy Blue Angels. After these messages, SpaceX is chosen for a national security launch. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. SpaceX has been awarded their first national security launch contract. While United Launch Alliance has been the key player in national security launches, they did not participate in the bidding process this time. Therefore, SpaceX was awarded the contract by default. The National Transportation Safety Board will highlight lessons learned from its investigations of general aviation accidents involving loss of control during a seminar scheduled for May 14th. The NTSB has partnered with AOPA and two other organizations committed to enhancing general aviation safety. It's been reported that the F-35 Lightning II program is rapidly changing and has reached a pivotal point. Flight tests will finish in late 2017, then transition to a more efficient follow-on modernization program, according to the report. The Teamsters Local 1108 has filed a temporary restraining order against FlexJet and flight options. They are asking the court to compel the companies to accept the integrated seniority list of pilots created by the Pilots Committee and to reach an amended collective bargaining agreement. The Kodiak aircraft built by the Quest Aircraft Company has been delivering aid to earthquake-struck Ecuador and airlifting the injured to area hospitals. It's an example of general aviation pitching in to help people who are in trouble. That's the trip around the patch. Back to you, Christopher. After waiting for an extended time, the FAA has finally forwarded its proposed regulations for small unmanned aerial systems to the White House Office of Management and Budget for a final review. According to a report on HLRegulation.com, this move presents the last opportunity for interested parties to make an input to the approval process and have an effect on the outcome of the regulation. The report says that the review is limited to 90 days. However, it's pointed out that the review may be extended indefinitely by the head of the rulemaking agency that the OMB director also has the ability to extend the review process by 30 days. In other words, this important step towards final approval can still be dragged on for an extended period. 
Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.